Hi, YouTubers and watch Avers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another Monday morning mailbag. Get yourself a cup of coffee, kick back, relax. Let's talk a little wet shaving and a few other things. What do you got this morning? Brand new coffee from Sterling Roastery. Hang on one minute. Mmm. That is really, really good. Again, big thank you to Mark Bagwell for sending along these great coffees from Sterling Roastery. Uh, parent company being the Sterling Soap Company. Uh, right here, Costa Rica. Boy, is this, this is really nice. And uh, it says balanced and complex. It's a medium roast. It is really very, very good. And I understand the complexity in there. Uh, you've got to try this one. This is really very, very good. And we are using our Sterling Roastery uh, coffee mug this morning. Uh, and you know what? We're using both the Sterling coffee and the Sterling mug because we've got a very special announcement from the folks at Sterling later on the show. So stay tuned for that. And also using this mug, which is really a terrific, terrific mug, uh, we have, we've got this email here from a viewer, David Kais, who writes, uh, Hi, Mark. Hey, hope everything is going well. I really enjoyed seeing you at Maggers last week. Hey, it was great seeing you too, David. Um, I noticed each week you have a nice cup that you drink your coffee in while doing the show. I want to tell you what I do when I drink my coffee each weekend or morning I don't work. Uh, every time we go on vacation, I make it a point to buy a coffee mug. My only requirements are, of course, the place or region visited, and second, a local made artisan's cup. Um, it brings a nice reflection of a past experience that I will always have while drinking a cup of coffee. Uh, I've included a picture of some of my mugs. Yeah, thank you very much. We're, gonna, we're showing them on screen right now, and that allows me to take another sip here. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, a great look and selection of coffee mugs, David. Thanks very much for saying that along. Uh, he continues here. Thanks for mentioning the Shaving Condre website or Shaving Forum. Uh, if I could correct you, the Condre is not new, as you mentioned. It has been around for over five years. Well, thank you very much for that clarification, David. I really do appreciate it. However, it is new to me. <laughs> but it's been around for five years. Check it out, folks. We'll have a link to that Shaving Forum uh, below and thanks to uh, David for uh, recommending it and uh, sending us links to it and all that sort of thing. Uh, thanks for all you do in the wet shaving community. Uh, looking forward to seeing you at the Ohio meetup. Your friend David Kais. Yeah, David, looking forward to seeing you at the Ohio wet shavers meetup as well. Uh, we will talk about that as the date draws near, but save the date. That will be uh, Saturday, September 14th, 2024 at Rivers Edge Cutlery from 11 a.m to 3 p.m. in Hilliard, Ohio. So thanks for that reminder, David. Really do appreciate it. And hey, how you doing this morning? As we like to say in the show, a good hot coffee, a trusty mug. Let the caffeine go to work, gentlemen. Absolutely. Hang on, one more swig here. Ooh. Mm. Swig, I meant sip. <laughs> you know what I meant. And hey, if you're taking a long on your morning commute, thanks very much for the lift. I really do appreciate it. If you're listening to the podcast this morning, Thanks for tuning us in. I really do appreciate that. Boy, oh boy, we have got an absolutely outstanding show for you this morning. I was going over some of the material and I thought, wow, we've got some great, great stuff. First of all, we got a really great, unique shaving tip. We've got a Shave Den visit. We've got that special announcement. That's something special from the folks at Sterling Soap, uh, Sterling Soap Company. So my thanks to Rod and Mandy and everyone at Sterling Soap Company. Stay tuned for that. That is, th this is going to be really neat. I'm really excited about this. Uh, we got some great refill comments. New wet shave gear. Wow, do we have some great items in new wet shave gear? My goodness. Stay tuned for that. And we also have some great questions and comments this morning. So thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you're enjoying a cup of coffee with me this morning. So let's get the show kicked off like we do every week with a viewer morning shaving tip. Well, this morning's viewer shaving tip comes from viewer Chris Borob. That's spelled B O J. R-A-B. Chris, I sure hope I pronounced your last name correctly. We met Chris and his friend Christian at the Maggard meetup, and uh, he sent along this shaving tip. 
as well as some other information regarding his razor collection. We'll be sharing that uh, with you in some upcoming Monday morning mailbags, but I wanted to share this shaving tip with you. I thought it was really, really unique. Uh, and uh, he, he says, I have a viewer shaving tip. Uh, this is regarding some of his razors. Uh, I've sent a couple of pieces out to be anodized after purchasing them. The pieces were done by EDC Specialties out of California, and their website is www.edcspecialties.com. They do a great job, and it's a fantastic way to really personalize your favorite razors and make them into something even more special. And he's pointing out the razors that, that were done this way. His Alpha Shaving Works Outlaw Evolution Titanium with Viper and Magnum Titanium Handles uh, that I asked them to do in a psychedelic finish and the Blackland Vector Titanium in Satin that I had them do in blue. My gosh, those are absolutely awesome. That's fantastic. Uh, I mean, really, what a great way to really make uh, one of your razors very, very unique and very, very special. So check out the folks at edcspecialties.com for this wonderful service where you can uh, turn your uh, one of your razors into something really, really special, very, very striking, and very, very visually stunning. That's absolutely fantastic. So thanks very much for that, Chris. Really, really do appreciate it. And to say thank you for you and only you, an original signed George sketch. So please email me your snail mail address to mondaymailbag at gmail.com, mondaymailbag at gmail.com, and I will send this to you post haste. And if you out there would like an original signed George sketch, just send me a shaving tip. Send that shaving tip to mondaymailbag at gmail.com, mondaymailbag at gmail.com. And if I use it here on the morning shaving tip segment of the Monday morning mailbag, you too will receive an original signed George sketch. So Chris, thanks very, very much for a really neat and unique shaving tip. Really do appreciate it. Well, this morning we have a shaved end visit and it comes from Jim from Northfield. He has a new acquisition for his shaved end. And he writes, hey, Mark, I want to share this photo of the legendary Gillette Aristocrat Adjustable. It's in new old stock condition. I got a really good price on eBay. I've been waiting for one like this to come along. And as always, definitely right place, right time. Have a great week, Jim. My gosh, Jim, that is absolutely stunningly, stunningly beautiful. It, it looks absolutely brand new. Uh, my gosh, and look, the original case, and it looks like you got original blades with it as well. And I was recently talking to Mark Bagwell, who has given me a little bit of background on the Gillette Aristocrat. And I believe the Gillette Aristocrat uh, was originally gold-plated. So that's one of the things that uh, you'd want to look for if you're looking for one of these. Uh, is to see that it's gold plated. If it's gold plated, then, you know, for sure, it's a, it's a Gillette aristocrat. That is absolutely beautiful. But, you know, do your research and your homework because I'm not as familiar with the Gillette aristocrat as, say, Matt Pasarsic is or uh, Jim from Northfield or Mark Bagwell. Uh, and, and, and again, if you want to know about all things vintage Gillette razors, Matt Pisarsic and the Razor Emporium is definitely the resource to go to. And we will link uh, Razor Emporium, Rec Supply, and also uh, Matt's blog where he has all this great information about vintage Gillette razors. And uh, yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. So if you go to Matt's uh, website and uh, do a little bit of homework and uh, gain that information that he has up there next time you're on eBay or an antique store or a secondhand store or an estate sale, uh, and you see something like this, you'll know <laughs> immediately it's a Gillette adjustable aristocrat. My gosh, that's absolutely beautiful. So, uh, Jim, thanks very, very much for singing us along. Really, really do appreciate it. it. Looks absolutely wonderful. And folks, if you out there have a new addition to your shaved in or want to showcase your shaved in, just send us some photos or a video, a little bit of background on it, and we'll be happy to share it with all the viewers out there. So, Jim, thanks again very, very much. Well, here's your weekly reminder that the Monday Morning Mailbag is also available as a podcast. 
Simply get up to your favorite streaming service and search for Monday Morning Mailbag and more, Monday Morning Mailbag and more. And the Monday Morning Mailbag podcast, as well as our other podcast, Second Cup, will come right up. Both of those podcasts are available on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, and now right here on YouTube. Well, as promised, here's the Sterling Soap Company announcement. Rod and Mandy of Sterling Soap Company are sponsoring a giveaway for this episode of the Monday Morning Mailbag. Up for grabs, coniferous shave soap and aftershave splash, and they're giving away two bundles. So two lucky winners out there will receive an absolutely fantastic, fantastic shave soap bundle from Sterling Soap Company coniferous. Here's the scent description. A blend of Scott's pine, fir needle, Texas cedar wood, and lichen essential oils. This isn't your typical woodsy smell found in shaving and cologne products. This is you taking a stroll through the forest when out of nowhere two trees jump out and pin you to the ground while a third tree sits on top of you and beats the stuffing out of you. Then once he's done, He jams some moss up your nose. Caution may cause excessive manliness. (laughs) Sounds like an absolutely fantastic, fantastic scent. And two shave soap bundles are being given away courtesy of Rod, Mandy, and everyone at Sterling Soap Company. Now, how do you enter? Well, subscribe to the channel and comment below. Leave a comment below this video. And you have until Friday to do that. On Friday, Rod and Mandy will select two winners. They will then contact me. I will make that announcement sometime on Friday or Saturday. I'll do like a one or two minute video to say, here, here are the winners of the Sterling Soap Company's uh, coniferous shave bundle giveaway. And then uh, those winners, all they have to do is send me their shipping information and I will forward that to Rod and Mandy who will then ship those shave soap bundles, the shave soap and aftershave splash to two lucky winners out there. This is open to everyone worldwide. However, if you are outside the United States, an aftershave splash will not be able to be shipped to you because of its alcohol content. And Rod tells me that an aftershave balm will be substituted. So uh, there you go. There, that's, <laughs> that's all you got to know. Just comment below, subscribe to the channel, and leave that comment before sometime on Friday because sometime on Friday, Rod and Mandy are going to select those two lucky winners for a coniferous shave soap bundle or coniferous soap, coniferous bundle consisting of a shave soap and aftershave splash. Wow, two of those being given away. So my, my sincere thanks to Rod and Mandy of Sterling Soap Company and thanks to everyone at Sterling Soap Company for very, very kindly sponsoring this on today's Monday Morning Mailbag. Remember, you got until Friday to leave a comment below. Make sure you are a subscriber to the channel. Uh, and uh, once Rod and Manny have selected the winners, we'll make that announcement sometime on Friday, sometime on Saturday. And then we'll get everything squared away with shipping addresses. And Rod and Mandy will uh, very happily send you a coniferous shave soap and aftershave splash. Two of those bundles being given away. My thanks uh, to Rod and Mandy and everyone at Sterling Soap Company for uh, really a wonderful, wonderful giveaway prize for this episode of the Monday Morning Mailbag. So you got about four or five days to enter, folks. Just comment below, subscribe to the channel, and you too will be using a spectacular shave soap and aftershave splash from Sterling Soap Company, Coniferous. It sounds absolutely wonderful. And if you if you know anything about the traditional wet shave, Sterling Soaps make an absolutely fantastic, fantastic lather. They are really one of the premier artisan soap makers out there. So if you win this, <laughs> you're winning an absolute, an absolutely, an absolute top shelf prize, no doubt about it. So uh, good luck to everyone. Thanks to everyone at Sterling Soap Company and especially Rod and Mandy. Well, what do you know? Coffee's getting low that time of the show. Let's go back for a refill. Well, 
I hope you're enjoying a cup of coffee with me this morning. I hope you went back for a refill. I sure did. This is a terrific, terrific coffee from Sterling Roastery. Hang on one minute. Mm. Boy, that's absolutely great. Again, uh, Costa Rica uh, from Sterling Roastery. Uh, balanced and complex. Uh, really, really terrific. It does have, there is a complexity to the um, to, the, to all the tasting notes here, but really, really, everything's folded together very, very nicely. So I like it a lot. It is a medium roast. And again, my thanks to Mark Bagwell for not only the Sterling Roastery Coffee, but also this great Sterling Roastery Coffee Mug. My gosh, look at that. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you again, Mark, very, very much. And thanks again to Rod and Mandy of Sterling Soap Company for sponsoring the giveaway this morning. So make sure to enter. Just leave a comment below. Do so by Friday. And uh, wow, an absolutely fantastic prize. Coniferous uh, bundle, uh, shave soap and aftershave splash. Open everyone around the world. Uh, and again, if you're outside the U.S., they will have to substitute uh, the aftershave with a balm because they can't ship an alcohol-based product overseas outside the United States. So just know that. But uh, wow, just a fantastic, fantastic giveaway. I'm really, really excited. The first time we're doing this. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. So, uh, again, leave a comment below uh, before Friday when Rod and Mandy pick two lucky winners. Uh, okay, let's get to some of these refill comments this morning. Uh, Winfried Whitcup writes, uh, Hi, Mark. Yes, the Hofbra House in Cleveland is the same as in Munich, run by Germans. Uh, yeah, we asked if the um, Hofbra House in Cleveland was under the same ownership of, of the Hofbra House in Munich, and uh, Winfried confirms this, and it appears it is the same gentleman, the same company, and they own uh, franchises here in the United States. Uh, I know of three, one in Pittsburgh, one in Cincinnati, and one in Cleveland. I'm not sure if there are any others, but what a great restaurant to go to. It's absolutely fantastic. The food is great. The atmosphere is fun. Uh, just a great time. Uh, really, you've got to check it out. If you're in Cleveland, Cincinnati, or Pittsburgh, check out, or Munich, <laughs> check out the Hofbrauhaus. It really is a, a great, great time. So I guess it's franchised uh, from Munich to uh, cities here in the United States. So thanks very much for that, Winfried. Really do appreciate it. Uh, Tom Donnarumma followed up about pre-shave uh, scrubs because he was talking about of uh, using an oil, a cream, a soap. Uh, he prefers a pre-shave scrub. And I asked him, well, which, which ones do you use? And he said, Mark, uh, some of the scrubs I have had good results with are Nivea, Gillette, and Bamboo by Pacific Shaving Company. So there you go, folks. If you want to try a pre-shave scrub, uh, here's three right here that you can give a that uh, that that you can give a go to. Um, Tom likes them a lot. Uh, Nivea, Gillette, and Bamboo by Pacific Shaving Company. So thanks very much for that, Tom. Really do appreciate that. I uh, got this email from viewer Larry Napier, and I uh, wanted to share it with you this morning. Um, here's what Larry has to say. Hi, Mark. It was so great to meet you at the Maggard Meetup in Adrian, Michigan. Wow. What a great event. My wife, Lisa, and I drove up from Huntington, West Virginia, and boy, was it worth the drive. Maggard Razors is an amazing experience alone, and the meetup was like icing on the cake. I met so many vendors, artisans, and shaving personalities. I was so impressed with how everyone was so approachable and willing to share their knowledge and expertise. We had such a great time that we are already planning our trip to the Ohio Wet Shavers Meetup in Hilliard, Ohio. Uh, we hope to see you there, Larry Napier. Larry, uh, I'm going to be at the Ohio Wet Shavers Meetup. Absolutely. We, we mentioned it earlier, September 14th, 2024. We'll have more information on that uh, in the coming days. But save the date, uh, Ohio Wet Shavers Meetup, uh, Saturday, September 14th, 2024. And Larry, you're absolutely correct. The, the wet shaving community is absolutely wonderful. Everybody is friendly, approachable, and yes, very, very willing to share tips, tricks, information, expertise. I learned so much 
from the wet shaving community. And again, uh, as I say, without you, this microphone would be silent because of all the great contributions that come from all the viewers and fellow wet shavers out there. It's just uh, amazing. They're, they're an absolutely wonderful, wonderful community. No doubt about it. So I just wanted to pass that along, folks. And also to make note of, uh, to kind of echo what Larry is saying here and what, view, and, uh, and what a viewer said last week as well in our Maggard Meetup highlight reel, you don't have to wait for the Maggard Meetup to go to Maggard Razors in Adrian, Michigan. Just check their hours, uh, get up there and visit the store. It really is a fantastic place. You'll be like a kid in a candy store. So many great wet shaving items and great wet shaving gear there. Uh, on display, uh, really, it's it really is terrific. So it's worth the drive to Adrian, Michigan, to visit Maggard Razors. Even if they're not having a meetup, you're going to have a great time in the store. That's the whole point here. So, Larry, thanks for the reminder on that. And also, uh, I just want to echo your comments that, yeah, the wet shaving community is absolutely wonderful. One of the best communities out there, and especially on YouTube. So, yeah, absolutely, uh, Larry, I agree with you 100%. Uh, Arthur Gatsky wrote, now that's spelled A-R-T-U-R, Arthur, that's how it's spelled, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, hello Mark, the head of Brian's Razor seems to be an icon tech, but I'm not sure about the handle. Maybe it's an earlier icon design. Have a wonderful week, Arthur. Uh, you know what, we showed a, uh, a Razor uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, from the Maggard Meetup Highlights, and... Uh, uh, an attendee named Brian. Uh, I think he won it as a door prize and he wasn't sure exactly what kind of razor it was. Arthur thinks it's a uh, uh, an Icon Tech razor head. We're showing it to you again here. And uh, you know what? I, I, that's a good guess. <laughs> I don't know one way or another. Can anyone out there confirm uh, Arthur's guess on the uh, razor head here? Uh, Brian, it looks like it might be an Icon Tech razor head with uh, some other kind of handle, maybe an early icon designed handle. So Arthur, thanks very, very much for that information. Really do appreciate it. And again, folks, if you have anything to add, please comment below, let us know. And if you comment below, guess what? You're entering <laughs> the Sterling Soap giveaway. So there you go, Sterling Soap Company giveaway. So uh, there you go. You get uh, your touch and two bases here. Uh, you're uh, offering some information regarding the uh, razor head and you're also entering the giveaway. Yeah. Uh, viewer Mike Perrette wrote, great Monday morning mailbag. Uh, I find the twig a great shaver for two to three days of growth, though that will depend on how fast and thick someone's hair is. The thorn is a little more blade exposure and gap, so it's great for getting just a little bit closer of a shave or for more growth. You have a limited blue colored one. Can't wait to see what you think of it. Have a great week. Now, he also adds this edit here. The leaf razors use either half DE blades or regular ones snapped in half. Most fit, but some are too long. Uh, it's also best if you snap them to put the bent end down away from the shaving surface side. Uh, Mike, thanks very, very much uh, for that little bit of uh, detailed information there. Very, very helpful. Uh, I have shaved with this, and this is really a wonderful razor. Uh, truth be told, it took me about three to four shaves to really kind of hit my stride with it. I think it was just the unique design of the razor head and my not understanding the angle. The angle is 25 to 30 degrees, and once you find that sweet spot, boy, do you get a great shave with this. And uh, yes, the uh, snapped blade... Uh, this is well. Let me let me show you about the snap blade here. Okay, when you when you open this razor head, it extends like that and kind of moves out of the way and has a magnet on the base plate right there. Can you see that magnet there? So it holds that razor in place so that when you clamp it down, okay, the blade won't move and it'll clamp nicely. Now here's the thing: uh, when that blade sits on that base plate, uh, if you've snapped that blade, uh, the ends of that blade will curl. And as Mike is noting here, those curled ends will be uh, in these two little areas here of that razor head, kind of out of the way of the clamping action of the cap and base plate, which is nice because that curled end can act like a spring uh, if you have a full 
um, how do I say, a full razor head that, that, that encloses the entire half blade. So sometimes that curled end, that curled end will act like a spring and you won't get, you really have to be careful how you're clamping that, that razor head down uh, is what I'm saying. That's been my experience. Uh, but the twig uh, offers the, these, well, I guess you could say like these little openings here to where that curled end, uh, if you, if you, when you load that blade, make sure the, that curled end is pointing downward like that. And then that way, you're good to go. So if you snap a blade, even though it has those curled ends there, just make sure they're pointing downward and uh, they're out of the way and there is no spring action to, um, to hold up or to uh, mess up the clamping action of the, uh, of the razor head. Uh, really a neat design, that clearance that's allowed for those snapped ends. So you can use a, a, a pre-snapped blade or you can snap your own. Just make sure those curled ends are pointing downward and they're out of the way. And I have snapped a blade and used it for a shave with this. And it was, it was wonderful. I just took Mike's tip and made sure those curled ends we're pointing downward in the razor head and everything was fine. Everything was great. And again, you may experience with other razor, with other single edge razor heads, you may experience a little bit of a problem uh, because of that spring action of that little curl in that snap blade. At least that's been my experience with one particular uh, single edge razor head. I mentioned it in the upcoming review of the twig. I'm not sure when that review is going to run. But it was a great shave. Yeah, this is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic razor. My thanks to Bill Murphy for very kindly sending this along to the uh, channel. And he also sent the razor stand like that. And the leaf half blades are very, very good. And snap blades work great. And uh, I think they designed that razor head on purpose to make sure that that curled edge from a snap blade is just it's out of the equation. It's out of the way. And the clamping on this is very, very good. So yeah, a, a really neat single edge razor. And of course, we've been talking about single edge razors on the Monday Morning Mailbag. We talk about the twig. We also talk about the Supply SE, which is another great single edge razor. So stay tuned in new wet shaving gear. We have yet another really spectacular single edge razor. Uh, you'll want to see what we have in new wet shaving gear. This is really, really neat. Uh, we have reviewed another model from this company. Uh, and talked about it on the Monday Morning Mailbag, and we've reviewed it on the channel. This is a brand new model from them. So stay tuned uh, for new wet shaving gear. Just check out that single edge razor. I'm really excited to show that one to you. Uh, Al Spencer wrote, oh, well, thanks again, Mike. Really do appreciate uh, the comments and the great information. Al Spencer wrote, Razor Rock now offers a 0.76 base plate for the game changer, right in between the 0.68 and 0.84 base plates. Al, thank you very, very much for that. I was not aware of that. Of course, here is my game changer with the 0.68 base plate. This was very kindly sent to the channel uh, by Greg from Virginia. Thank you again, Greg, very, very much. A nice, mild razor. Great for face shaves. Great for head shaves. And of course, James Sefton just got a game changer. He acquired the game changer with the 0.84 base plate. Now that's a little more on the aggressive side. So if you're thinking that the 0.84 uh, aggression level is a little too much for you and 0.68 is a little too mild, well, you've got a third option now, a 0.76 base plate right there in the middle. That could be the sweet spot for your particular shave. Al, Thanks very, very much for sending along that information. Really, really do appreciate it. Uh, viewer Stan Chapman wrote, Hello, Mark. In reference to my pre-shave routine, mixing the Cube 2.0 with shave lather, I do both face and bowl lathering, but always mix them together on the face. If bowl lathering, I make the soap lather before I wash and apply the Cube 2.0 to the face so the Cube 2.0 lather doesn't dry out while mixing in the bowl. Hey, Stan, thanks very much for clarifying that because Stan was telling us about his pre-shave and shave routine, and I was wondering if he did a face lather or a bowl lather, and he does a combination of the two. <laughs> really neat. Hey, your face, your rules. Uh, as we say here, uh, there's no right or wrong way. Uh, if you prefer face lathering, great. If you prefer bowl lathering, great. If you do a combination of the two combined, 
absolutely wonderful. If it works for you, absolutely fantastic. Stan, thanks very much for sending along that clarification. Really do appreciate it. Uh, the One Baba or Baba writes, Mark, if you have never tried the Leaf Three Blade Razor, it is a phenomenally great head shaver. It's my go-to for head shaving, and I use Wizomets in all three slots. You can go with one, two, or three blades. I just prefer all three. Seriously, great for head shaving. And uh, Mike Perit added here, I second the leaf for head shaving. I prefer the bottom two slots loaded unless I have irritation, then I go with top two slots. Well, gentlemen, thanks very much for that recommendation. I've heard a lot of great things about the leaf three-bladed razor. Uh, sounds like an absolutely fantastic, fantastic razor. And uh, based on my experience with the uh, leaf twig, uh, yeah, <laughs> the leaf three-bladed razor sounds like it will absolutely be perfect for head shaving. I've heard a lot of wet shavers who do head shaves really, really like the leaf three-bladed razor for head shave. So yeah, I'm going to investigate that. So thanks very, very much for the recommendation. Really, really do appreciate it. And that wraps up this week's refill segment. My thanks to everyone that contributed. Really do appreciate it. We'll do it again next week. Okay, let's check out some new wet shaving gear. Now, at the recent Maggard meetup, we met a gentleman named Peter Ogden. And Peter is an artisan brush maker, and he owns Aurora Grooming. Now, we're going to show you some of his shave brushes on screen and tell you a little bit more about Aurora Grooming's history. And on the product page, Peter writes, As an active member of the U.S. Navy, shaving is required of me every single day. You can imagine how expensive that can get, so I did what any frugal person would do. I started exploring other avenues of shaving. It didn't take me long to come across wet shaving. I loved it. The classic style of the razors, the different shapes and colors of the brushes, all of it. I had to get into it. Luckily, I had already practiced turning for various other products and decided to take my skill set to turning brushes. I contacted vendors for knots, found a source for polyester resin and dye, and off I went on an adventure. I turned a few failures. I finally found a good rhythm and some new supplies to help me. I decided to make a business out of it. Using only the highest quality materials from highly rated vendors, I began my journey of building up my company, which I naturally had to name after the most important person in my life, my daughter. Our mission is to bring quality and style to the world. Not that it doesn't exist, we just want to contribute. Through the sales created by our quality products, we want to help prevent veteran suicide by contributing to Mission 22. Let's make the world a better place, one brush at a time. I hope you'll all join me as I create, learn, and build this service. I'm hoping to convert a few people to this lifestyle, and of course, serve not only other military members, but people all around the world Providing all of you with something that easily stole my heart and allowed me to develop a new passion. Wow, bravo, Peter. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Your brushes look amazing. Folks, we will link his website below where you can contact Peter and have him make one of his really, really wonderful artisan shave brushes. Peter, thanks very much for sending this along. Really do appreciate it. Folks, we'll have the link to Aurora Grooming, which is auroragrooming.net. Below, again, Aurora Grooming's website is auroragrooming.net. We'll have the link below. Peter, thanks again. Viewer Mark Bagwell passed along this review of Ariana and Evans' Sylvan Fog Shaving Cream that comes in a 5.3-ounce container. And Mark writes, The best way to describe the scent of Sylvan Fog Think of an early morning walk in a forest after a late night rainfall. The fog engulfs you. The scent of wet foliage, greenery, and dew-soaked plants rise up and fill your senses. To me, this sums up the scent perfectly. But you can check the Ariana and Evans website for a full list. Building a lather. I prefer to bowl lather and used my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl with a Wolf Whiskers brush 
loaded with a synthetic Timberwolf knot. But whether you bowl or face lather, it takes very little cream to build a mound of deep, rich lather. It took me all of 30 to 40 seconds. So now let's talk about performance. Simply put, it's outstanding. The lather was extremely slick and had plenty of cushion. Peter Sharkalis made a video of himself doing a three-pass shave using only the residual slickness. Now, I didn't go as far as that, but I can attest to the slickness and superb qualities of the cream. I can also tell you my post-shave feel was extremely good. My final thoughts. The new creams by Ariana and Evans rival the best shaving creams in the world. Sylvan Fog has a permanent place in my den. And don't forget the matching aftershave. Wow, Mark, thanks again for a great, great review and a great endorsement of these new shaving creams from Ariana and Evans. We've been talking about them on the channel and reviewing them. They are absolutely spectacular, very, very slick. And once again, we are going to link uh, Peter's video below where he does that shave with just residual slickness. Really amazing and really attests to how slick this shaving cream is. It's really, really fantastic. Great performance, great price point. They give you a lot, 5.3 ounces. So check it out from Ariane and Evans, their new line of shaving creams. Mark, thanks again for a great review and a great endorsement of Ariane and Evans' Sylvan Fog Shaving Cream. Really do appreciate it. Viewer Mark Bagwell sent along this review of a Wolf Whisker shaving brush that he just acquired. Now, Peter Wolf was at the Maggard Meetup with all of his wonderful shave brushes, absolutely spectacular, spectacular shaving brushes. This man is an absolute artist, a master craftsman, a master artisan when it comes to creating and making a shave brush. Really, really fantastic. Uh, a lot of folks who attended were buying those shave brushes and <laughs> they sell out quickly. Getting on the waiting list can be rather def difficult because his work, his shaving brushes, are really in demand. He really makes a fantastic, fantastic shaving brush. Anyhow, Mark Bagwell has a new Wolf Whiskers shaving brush, and he writes, It's no secret that I love Wolf Whiskers brushes. My collection of Peter's brushes is somewhat limited, but I plan to obtain more when I can. The man is a master craftsman. But you can see that for yourself. It's rare for Peter to make a Brazilian lobster tail brush and I consider myself very lucky to have it. The unique color is called Midnight Orchid, and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous, Mark. Thanks very much for sending along a look at this beautiful, beautiful Wolf Whiskers shaving brush. Folks, we will link Wolf Whiskers' website below uh, where you can get up there and check out all the brushes and get on that waiting list for a one-of-a-kind, beautifully crafted uh, shaving brush from Peter Wolf. He really, really is a, a master artisan and artist when it comes to creating shaving brushes. As you can see from the shaving brush that Mark Bagwell has, has right here, lobster, a Brazilian lobster tail shaving brush. Absolutely beautiful in Midnight Orchid. Boy, that is absolutely gorgeous. Mark, thanks very much for sharing that with all the viewers out there. Folks, we will link Wolf Whiskers below. Check it out. Those are beautiful, beautiful shaving brushes and uh, one that you'll want to have in your shaved den for sure. Mark, thanks again very, very much. Hey, the folks at the Razor Company very kindly sent along Dovo Razor Blades to the channel. These are the Super Platinum Dovo Razor Blades. Really looking forward to using and reviewing these. Also serves as a reminder that the Razor Company has all things Dovo up on their online website store. You can get the Dovo razor blades, the Dovo safety razors, Dovo shaving brushes, Dovo shaving soaps, Dovo shaving bowls, all things Dovo available at the razor company. So my thanks to all the guys at the razor company for very kindly sending along Dovo super platinum razor blades to the channel. We will be doing a review on these very, very soon. Really looking forward to it. Thanks again to the razor company for sending these along. Check them out. All things Dovo, available at the Razor Company. 
Well, in a previous Monday Morning Mailbag, we talked about American Vintage Soap Company's The Final Shaving Soap Alpha. This is an all-natural shaving soap that builds a wonderful lather. Here's a scent profile of Alpha. Cinnamon bark, clove, lemon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Oh yeah, that is an absolutely wonderful scent. We reviewed it, and again, for an all-natural shave soap, it built a wonderful, wonderful lather. Well, the folks from American Vintage Soap Company very kindly sent along the final shaving soap, Omega. And uh, we'll be doing a review on this one. And here is the scent profile of Omega. Chamomile, cedarwood, sandalwood, and cypress. Oh yeah, that is really, really terrific. And as they write on the product page, a fresh floral and woody blend. The final shaving soap represents our wet shaving endgame. Incredibly minimalist and all natural, TFSS packs an enormous punch in lather capability and value. I absolutely agree 100%. They really did balance out wonderful lathering quality in a natural shaving soap and they were able to maintain slickness. Really, really terrific. If you're looking for an all-natural shaving soap, check out the shaving soaps from American Vintage Soap Company. Uh, Omega is an absolutely wonderful scent, and Alpha is fantastic as well. Really, really terrific, terrific shaving soaps. We're going to get a review done on Omega. Uh, and again, really looking forward to a really wonderful uh, lather with creamy and yogurty goodness and also a really nice amount of slickness. So they really did balance that out, being an all-natural shave soap. Uh, really, really looking forward to reviewing this one again. My thanks to everyone at uh, American Vintage Soap Company for sending along the final shaving soap, Omega. Looking forward to doing a review. Thanks to everyone there. And we'll get a review done. Again, once more, folks, we'll link them below. American Vintage Soap Company. You can check out the final shaving soaps, Omega and Alpha, on their website. My thanks to them again for sending these soaps along and allowing me to share them with all the viewers out there. Thanks again to American Vintage Soap Company. Really do appreciate it. Hey, Mark Denton over at Denton Magic Shave Soaps has a brand new offering. This one's called Strayer's Mommy Apothecary. Uh, and he writes, attached is the artwork for a new offering that will be coming out soon. Strayer's Mommy Apothecary. The scent is inspired by Bulgari Man. The first time I got a whiff of this cologne, it somehow reminded me of my grandpa Strayer. Clean, amber, woody fragrance that is not too overpowering. Top notes are bergamot, white pear, violet leaf, and lotus. Middle notes are woody notes, vetiver, amber, cypriol, sandalwood, and cashmere wood. The base notes are tonka bean, honey, musk, and benzoin. The label for this was fun to make. The picture is my grandpa Strayer's senior picture that is on top of a land map where the Strayer settled in Monclova Township in Maumee, Ohio. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic, Mark. Thanks for the heads up on this. Folks, we will link Denton Magic below where you can check out Strayer's Maumee Apothecary Shave Soap. Mark, thanks again very much. Well, as promised, we have a brand new single edge razor to share with you. This comes from Charlie Piles and all the folks at One Blade Razor. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful razor. This is called the One Blade Element. This is brand new from them. Now, you may recall, we have used and reviewed the One Blade Core, which was a really nice entry-level One Blade Razor. Really delivers some absolutely fantastic, fantastic smooth shaves. If single-edge razors are not in your wheelhouse, you have to try the One Blade Razor. It really is a fantastic single-edge razor that combines the best of both worlds, of the traditional wet shave, of a single-edge razor, and also the pivoting action right here of a cartridge razor. Absolutely fantastic. Now let's take a look at the uh, One Blade Element, which is brand new from them. As, my, as I understand it. Absolutely beautiful. It comes in a beautiful, beautiful packaging. The presentation is top-notch with dads and grads right around the corner if you're looking for a really unique gift that comes in at a beautiful price point for the wet shaver in your life, you have to check out the One Blade 
element. Really fantastic. It has a magnetic clasp right here. Just go to where it says one blade and lift that up. It is really nice and secure. And inside, you get this wonderful hello card right there. And it also has information on the back where you can contact them about your order if you have any concerns, any questions, that sort of thing. Absolutely really, really beautiful touch. And they also have a thank you card also signed by CEO uh, Charlie Piles right there. Absolutely fantastic. So really, I mean, I'm giving them big points for, for really a wonderful market, wonderful marketing and presentation of their product, letting the, letting the wet shaver know that, hey, we're here for you. You also have a great guide for, uh, the, for using this particular razor, how to use it, how to uh, shave with it, uh, all, the, all that great information that even a first-time wet shaver is going to need regarding uh, the use of the uh, one-blade element razor. Really, really terrific. And here it is right here. It comes with the one-blade element. It comes with blades, feather blades, and also a razor stand. Let's take a look at the razor right here. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to tell you some of the features of this right here from their product page. Let's take a look at that. Absolutely. This is an all-metal uh, one-blade razor that comes in at less than $80. So you get the razor, you get the blades, and you get the stand at less than $80. That's a fantastic price point for a one-blade razor. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Has a really, really nice balance, good weight. Really, I'm really looking forward to using this razor. And also, that wonderful pivoting head right there. Absolutely fantastic. And it uses uh, a feather blade that is designed to fit their razor head. Now, a little bit more on that in just a moment. Here's what they say about the, uh, the razor on their product page. Exquisite all-metal build. Crafted with precision and durability in mind, the Element Razor features an all-metal build including an anodized aluminum handle and matte chrome zinc alloy head, delivering both style and substance to your shaving experience. Wow, that is, it's absolutely beautiful. It absolutely is gorgeous. It is very, very well made. And they talk about the precision machining of it on the product page. I'll link it below so you can read about that a little bit further. Optimized weight and balance designed for effortless control and maneuverability. The Element Razor offers an optimized weight and balance, allowing for smooth, precise strokes with minimal effort. Enjoy the ultimate shaving experience without any added strain or discomfort. I can attest to that just from the, using the Core Razor, but this is definitely going to be an upgrade from the Core Razor because of that all-metal design and the, the metal head. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to using and reviewing this one. Uh, enhanced safety features. Engineered with your safety in mind, the Element Razor minimizes the risk of nicks, cuts, and irritation, ensuring a safe and comfortable shaving experience every time. And here are the extras that are included with the Element uh, you get a single single blade safety razor, 10 feather FHS single edge high stainless Japanese blades, and an anodized aluminum horizontal razor stand. Let's show you that razor stand right now. Uh, the way it's packed, the blades and the razor are on top, and we'll take the blades out. Let's get a look at those right there, and we'll move this. We'll remove this cushion from the top here kind of get that out of the way. It is beautifully packaged. Again, the presentation is absolutely beautiful. And here is the alumina, the, the uh, stand right here, the anodized stand, horizontal stand right here. So your one blade can sit there just like that. How about that? Isn't that gorgeous? That's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. So that'll look great in anyone shaved in. And again, what a fantastic gift for dads and grads, uh, especially someone who really, really hasn't had a good shaving experience with a single edge razor. This is one to try. This is because of this pivoting head and these wonderful feather blades, uh, you know, you're going to get a really, really good shave. Uh, the, the shaves that I've had with the uh, core one blade razor, the one blade core razor have been really, really wonderful. But this one, uh, because of the all metal construction, I think is going to be you know, even better. So yeah, looking forward to it. Now let me show you how the blade loads 
uh, in this razor head. It loads from the back end right here, and I'm going to set that down here, and I have this pack from the uh, core uh, razor, so because those are already open. So there's the feather blade, and I'll tell you, this is the only time where I look forward to using a feather blade in this razor because it's so smooth and comfortable. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Okay, I'm going to show you how to load the razor. I've tried to I did a couple of times kind of rehearsing it to show you the correct angle so you can see it on camera. Okay, so here's the blade right here. The dull edge is the edge that has the notches, okay? The sharp edge is the straight edge on the bottom here, as you can see. So all you're doing is just inserting it into the back of the razor head like this. Just very, very, I'm going to try, I, <laughs> it just goes in nice and smoothly. Don't force it and just give it a little push and it clicks right into place. Do you see that? And look at the alignment on that. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Very easy to load. Just don't force it. Just make sure that it kind of glides in and you hear that click. Now, if you want to unload it, all you have to do is lift the back end of the blade here. Lift this back end of the blade and just lift that and then it will un it'll, it'll, it'll release. Okay, let me just, it'll release and come right out, okay? So uh, that's how you load and uh, unload a blade. Again, just put it in the back of the razor head like this, okay? Make sure it, it, it's entering smoothly and just push it in and click, and click it. If you want to remove it, just lift the back of the, uh, the blade itself in the back of the razor head, and that should detach it from the stops, and uh, you'll be able to pull it out. Really very easy to load and unload a razor blade with the one blade element razor. Really, really terrific, terrific design. You've got that pivoting head right there that conforms to all the contours of your face. Uh, no matter what angle you're holding that, that handle, uh, it's an absolutely fantastic, fantastic razor. This all metal design feels great in the hand. It really, really does. I am so looking forward to shaving with this one blade element. We will link it below so that you can uh, get a look at it and read more about it. It is an absolutely stunningly good-looking razor. And again, based on the wonderful shaves I had with the One Blade Core razor, this one promises to be even better because of its all-metal design. How, how I have looked forward to getting an all-metal razor at a wonderful price point. This is absolutely fantastic. Once again... Dads and grads, right around the corner, this is a perfect gift for the dad and grad, the dad or grad in your life because of the price point, all the great items contained with the Element Razor, the, the razor, the blades, the stand, uh, really terrific. And uh, it's going to deliver a great shave. My experience with the One Blade Razor uh, has been wonderful. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, using this one and reviewing it. So we will have links below to the One Blade Element. This is an absolutely beautiful razor. Comes in at a great price point. Packaging and presentation, top notch. Uh, an absolutely wonderful gift for the wet shaver in your life, a dad, a grad, or even yourself. A really worthy addition to your shave den especially if single-edge razors haven't been in your wheelhouse, give the one-blade element a try. It really is fantastic. And they are there to answer all your questions and help you through uh, your shaving experience with the one-blade element. I give them high marks for that. That's absolutely fantastic. So my thanks again to Charlie Piles and everyone at One Blade for very kindly sending along the One Blade Element Razor, and allowing me to share with all the viewers out there. Thanks again, Charlie. Thanks to everyone at One Blade. Really do appreciate it. Folks, we'll have links below. Well, we have a new shave soap offering from Phoenix Shaving. It should be dropping this weekend. If you watch the Advent Calendar 12 Shaves of Christmas this past Christmas, you saw this shave soap in the Advent Calendar. It was absolutely fantastic. A wonderful, wonderful scent. Here it is. Avo Nice Shave from Phoenix Shaving. Boy, is this a fantastic scent. 
And of course, it's formula CK6, so it just lathers a treat. You just have to swirl a couple times with your, with your shaving brush and you will get heaps and heaps of lather. The performance of CK6 is absolutely wonderful. And of course, it's available as a bundle, uh, shave soap and aftershave splash. My thanks to Doug, Fran, Huxley, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for very kindly sending this along to the channel and allowing me to share it with all the viewers. We're going to get a review done as soon as possible. My understanding is it's dropping this weekend. Uh, and here are the... Um, here the, here the, here's the scent profile. Here, the, <laughs> This is really wonderful stuff. Uh, top notes, creamy avocado, citrus peel, and olive. Uh, the heart notes are bosque pear, French lavender, and basil. Uh, bottom notes are blonde woods, uh, cashmirin, musk, and cyclamen blossom. Boy, this is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful scent. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. And, you know, we got some information regarding the history of Avo Nice Shave with the Advent Calendar. came in this little uh, piece of paper right here, and we are going to share that with you once again to what they, uh, as to what they said about the, uh, the shave soap uh, at the time they put it in the Advent Calendar. It still stands uh, for this release right here. Uh, Avo Nice Shave was originally a one-off done for an early Southern California wet shavers collective spring meetup held back in 2018 down in sunny San Diego. That was a blast. Eventually, word got out and we had to do another drop for those that couldn't attend. The original contained chlorophyll, giving it a funky natural green tint. Fun fact, California is the avocado capital of the world. But I bet you knew that, so let me throw in another. Did you know July 31st is National Avocado Day in the USA? I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that at all. Now, the green chlorophyll is not there, but boy, just a fantastic, fantastic scent. Boy, I really enjoyed the shave with this one. And this is, this is great for an evening night out. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. I'm really looking forward to reviewing this one uh, from Phoenix Shaving. Avo Nice Shave, Shave Soap and Aftershave Splash. Again, thanks to Doug, Fran, Huxley, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for sending this one along to the channel, allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. Check out that label art. Really, really terrific. Uh, a little different from the Advent Calendar uh, samples that we got right here. Right, That was in the Advent Calendar, Avo Nice Shave like that. So there is definitely a, a, an upgrade to the artwork, which is really, really terrific. Uh, looking forward to uh, using and reviewing this one again. Uh, Avo Nice Shave from Phoenix Shaving. We'll have the links below. Thanks again, Doug, Fran, Huxley, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving. And that wraps up this week's look at new wet shaving gear. My thanks to everyone that contributed. Really do appreciate it. We'll do it again next week. Okay, let's check out some of these questions and comments. Well, I got the following email from viewer Abane Samant. Now, as you recall, we met up with Abane at the Maggard meetup. Uh, recently, and uh, while he was there, he acquired a bronze razor from the guys at Timeless Razor. And I asked him to please send in a review and how it works for him after he's had a chance to shave with it. And he sent along the following. Hi, Mark. I hope you're doing well. I have really enjoyed reliving the Maggards meetup through your podcast. I can't wait till next year. I have been so stoked to use my new bronze timeless TRBR38. I paired it with my Zoric Super Platinum Blade, one of my favorite blades, and my new shave soap and splash from Through the Fire Fine Crafts. The Birch Force Soap and Splash has an amazing fragrance. It really does remind me of spring in Canada when walking in the woods. You can smell the trees and a little bit of campfire. It's the exact spring scent I have been looking for. It lathers well and has great cushioning and glide. However, the real star of the show is the razor. I was a little intimidated at first because of the heft of the razor, but once you put it to your face, it is just so mild. 
You could literally pass over the same spot one million times and not get any irritation. The heavy razor just makes you slow down and enjoy the luxurious experience that is wet shaving. It literally takes you to a whole other level of relaxation and zen. The shave was BBS. No nicks, no cuts, and no irritation. The blade and razor pair together perfectly, and the splash made me feel like I was walking in the woods in the boreal forest. Cheers, Abby. Abby, I am so glad to hear that you enjoy the bronze razor from Timeless Razor. Folks, this is another great razor. If you're looking for something for dads and grads this year, it comes in at a really nice price point. You can get the uh, the stand with it, and it is just so wonderful. Mild, efficient, beautiful heft, wonderful balance, a great double-edged razor that will absolutely last for generations. Uh, Abane, I'm so glad that it has worked so well for you. I love using mine, and it sounds like you're uh, <laughs> on par with that as well. So thanks very, very much for a great review of the... Uh, Bronze Razor from Timeless Razor. Folks, give it a look. We'll have everything Timeless Razor linked below. Abane, thanks again very, very much. And yeah, it was great seeing you and Cress at the Maggard Meetup. Looking forward to seeing you again at the Maggard Meetup next year. Folks, we'll have links to the Timeless Razor, Bronze Razor below, and all things Timeless Razor. Abane, thanks again very much. Well, in previous Monday morning mailbags, we've had a discussion regarding uh, hot water shaves, cold water rinses, our pores opening and closing. And Jimmy V Photography has done some research on this, and he has informed us that our pores really don't open and close. Now, Mark Bagwell furthered this research a little bit, and he sent this along, and he said, Mark, he was right, meaning Jimmy V. Uh, regarding our pores always staying open. Again, he writes, Mark, he was right. Our pores are always open. The reason for hot water and hot towels is to relax the skin and facial muscles. If you're tense or worried when you're shaving, then it's guaranteed to be a lousy shave. The secret to a great shave is to relax and take your time. Enjoy the journey because a great shave is about the journey and not the destination. Well, Mark, thanks very much for confirming what Jimmy V has been telling us, that our pores don't open and close. But thanks very much for informing us of one step further that hot water and hot towel can actually relax our facial muscles, relax our skin, and really you know, put us in a nice, relaxed, calm mood for a great, great shave. And I think that's why we do the traditional wet shave. Uh, it's just... Us and the shave in that shave den. It's our time. We take our time. We enjoy the journey. We enjoy the entire process. Uh, you know, doing a hot towel, a pre-shave wash, a pre-shave lather. You know, building that lather in a bowl or on the face. You know, loading that razor blade. <laughs> you know, just doing a first pass, a second pass, taking our time with each shave stroke really enjoying the journey. Uh, I agree with you, Mark, absolutely. And thanks so much for sending this along and clarifying uh, the fact that uh, Jimmy was right. Our pores are always open, but hot water and hot towels help to relax us, uh, relax our skin and our facial muscles, and just uh, put us into a great, calm, relaxed mood to enjoy a great traditional wet shave. Mark, thanks very much for passing that along. Really do appreciate it. And that wraps up another Monday Morning Mailbag. Thanks so much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything 
in a snap very easily. I'll leave you with this laugh. Hey, we have another Double Take cartoon puzzle this week. Try to find the differences between the two cartoon panels. If you need more time, just pause the video or try to find all the differences before time runs out. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Make it a great week.